Our next material to work with is quartz. Now looking in the material analyzer, you can see that I've already made some progress in the quartz research tree. We have a way to scan for it, but we have a few more things that we need to do before we're moving on to making anything cool with quartz. Now over here is some silica. This is something that I initially thought I was gonna need in order to make windowed walls for the base, but turns out those don't actually require any kind of quartz or silica. So we're gonna go ahead and just start the research on this one and then move forward towards the bottom of the tree where you can see we have this item here, the crystal oscillator. This is just in a more advanced component. Now to do this research tree, we need to move on to some of the more advanced quartz, which is the quartz crystal, just the more refined quartz as opposed to the raw quartz, which we pull out of the ground, as well as some other things, the reinforced iron plates, which we already have. So we're going to head to the quartz deposits, which I have previously discovered, and see if we can start some production up there. Now that we're at the halfway point at the coal generator power plant, we can grab one of these tractors to make the rest of the journey just a little bit easier. This route is going to be a great candidate for a new hypertube network because this hill is unbelievable. <laughs> I think this is right about where it should be, and there we have it. Two beautiful looking rock... Oh gosh, there's an enemy in here. Let's see how he likes... Mr. Truck! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mr. Truck didn't do the whole job, so we gotta do this by hand. Alright, one- wait a second, there's another one! Oh god! He seems to be leaving us alone. Alright, so that's good. So we are now at the quartz, and we have a pure deposit here, which is pretty huge. I wonder if this one is as well. Oh my god, another pure deposit. This is gigantic. So the uh, quality of the deposit determines how much you can pull out with different miners. And it goes from an impure to a normal and then a pure. Pure obviously being the best. So that's pretty good for us, but our needs aren't going to be that huge just yet. So we're going to start off with a miner right here. We're going to have to power this with some biofuel. And I guess I can make some with some of these alien organs. Good to uh, make sure that we're putting those to use as opposed to wasting anything. And we're going to be able to uh, grab some quartz out of the ground once we power this guy up. We now have some very basic quartz production going on. I was actually flabbergasted by the amount of power that these two machines needed. Not necessarily how much, but how little. Because right now maximum consumption is at 9 megawatts. Which is crazy, because we have some of the other oil machines which are asking for 30, 40 megawatts for each individual piece of machinery. So it's nice to see that this is just going to be able to uh, stand alone with the single biomass burner for a uh, fair amount of time. Now, obviously, we're going to want to connect this up to the main facility and try and tie in the automation of creating some things like the crystal oscillator and whatever comes next. But for now, I think it's going to be OK. We're just going to leave this run for a while. And then we're going to be able to shuttle these pieces of quartz to and from the base manually. Now equipped with sufficiently more quartz, we can check out the material analyzer, go into that tree, and we can now research the crystal oscillator. So this is going to allow us to make some of those. And then to move on to the next phase, we'll have to complete five of them. Unfortunately, we have just enough materials to make the required amount. Now we can begin the next part of the tree, which is the signal technologies, and this is going to unlock some brand new stuff. Don't know what it is, actually, so let's take a look. So we've got... Oh, goodness. Frequency mapping. Map. Oh, ho, ho, map's going to be huge. Oh, look at this. It's a car. It's the Explorer. Nice. Look at that thing. What? Are you, what? Is it like a skeleton? I don't know. It's probably going to be better than that tractor we've been using. So we're going to have a better way to explore the map. And it looks like the cost for this is actually a lot of stuff that we already have access to. So we can make that pretty soon. And then next up, oh, we got radio control unit requiring, what is this? All clad aluminum sheet. Okay, so that might be out of the range of what we can do today, but that is okay because we can focus on these two things, the frequency mapping, which is going to give us that map, and the explorer. Hmm, fortunately, researching these is going to take a while, so at least that leaves me some time to go and get some more quartz. Well, the map research should just about be finished, and it looks like it is, so let's take a look at what we've got. Uh, the map has been unlocked. So what does that mean for me? So how do I use this map? So M, tab. Okay, it turns out the button you need to use is Z. So we're going to pop that open. And whoa, what do we have here? 
So I'm guessing that it's just showing everything that I've discovered thus far. I'm really glad that it has kept the progress of everything I've done before opening the map. Otherwise, I'd have to go back and, and walk around all these places that I've already been. But we can see a bunch of really cool icons in here that are really helpful, like the tractors. You can see these ones are the two that I've automated. And that is the truck station grabbing coal. It's a really weird system. We're not going to get into that terrible, terrible <laughs> setup that I have. So here is the... Where's a beacon I laid down? I don't know why, because I think my oil processing facility is right here. I don't know, but it's really cool that we've got this map. We've got uh, cool info, and it, it really changed my perspective. Uh, you can see my discovery. I don't know how big this map is. I really have no idea where it goes, uh, <laughs> but I guess we've reached the bottom, so we have to explore up north, uh, east, and west, but um, got to be a lot more cool stuff we can check out, and this is just such a huge upgrade for me. Alrighty, is that Explorer ready? And it is! Okay, here we go. I am ready for a new car. So let's head out, and I assume that we just build this the same way as a tractor. So let me check transportation. We've got the Explorer. <laughs> I've got everything I need, too. Oh, wow, smaller than I was expecting. It's like a nice little dune buggy. So I'm going to point them this way, because it's nice and open. Throw that down. I was kind of expecting it to do one of those, like, all the materials fly in and it makes a noise, but that's okay. Huh. Yeah, it's super cool. It's got a crafting bench in there. Uh, I assume it has some kind of inventory. Oh, it has nearly the same inventory as the tractors. So <laughs> this might just be like a tractor 2.0 sports version. So I'm going to hop in. And, oh, we need fuel, don't we? Okay, so let me just fuel this with some biofuel for now. We've got cooler fuels being able to be produced at the oil production facility that we might be able to throw in here. Maybe it'll shoot flames or something. So let's go. Oh, the acceleration is... Eh. I don't know, it's fine. I guess the only thing I have besides this is the tractor. This is way better. Woo! <laughs> it's not as quick. Well, it's really twitchy, too. Huh. All right, let's check out the top speed. Let's try and get a little bit of a flat spot. And then we're just going to gun it. So 70 kilometers per hour. 80. Oh, there's a wall there. Okay. You can see I clearly need some, uh, some practice with this. But it says in its description that it can climb near vertical surfaces. So let's try and find something kind of steep. Hmm. I'll tell you one thing, the sound it makes is way better than the tractor. Whoa! <laughs> Airtime! Not finding any good slopes. Let's just try and go straight up this cliff. There's no way it's going to make it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Go, go! <laughs> <laughs> this thing's incredible! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my god, it just walks up these slopes. Oh, that's slightly more than vertical. Let's try over here. One more go. Come on, little explorer buggy. You can do it. Oh my god! <laughs> it's doing it! Why is this possible? <laughs> oh my god, that's perfect. No! Oh, darn. So close. But that's still pretty darn impressive. So I'm going to head back to the flat... Oh, ho! Oh. <laughs> Thank goodness for that roll cage. Okay, we're safe. Well, I say that as I'm about to jump off this cliff! <laughs> oh, this thing's awesome. I'm super happy. It's going to make exploring way easier. And you know what else is going to make exploring easier? This handy map. So this is just a devastating combination when it comes to me checking out the remainder of the map and... You know, I don't really know how these two things relate to quartz, <laughs> other than the fact that we need the crystal oscillators and the research tree, uh, which may prove to uh, track in the future of just me having a hard time figuring out what these episodes are going to be. You know, this was supposed to be quartz, and we ended up with a car and a map. <laughs> but that's okay, because it's a sweet map and a sweet car that can go up some pretty sweet... I'm just going to crash its wall, aren't I? Oh, no! This thing's legendary. Oh, man, so cool. Uh-oh, one last test. Here we go. All right, buggy. As far as I know, you can't blow up cars or anything, so we're going to put that to the test. Oh, God! Oh, man, I took some damage. That's okay, because... Well, actually, it looks like the, uh, the health of the car is still perfectly fine. I don't know how that works, because if, if that doesn't damage the car, then uh, I don't know what will. Oh, ooh, ooh, vertical. This is for sure vertical. Hmm. Okay, we got to get a little little start here. Can't just go straight up, I guess. All right, here we go. Go up! Oh, darn. Oh, this rock is not only good at frustrating me by uh, creating an impediment, but also by it not helping. Yes, yes, go! 
Go, Explorer, go! <laughs> oh, no, okay. I guess near vertical surfaces. We have uh, met our match. So that is the Explorer. Upside down, Explorer. There we go. Back up. <laughs> we made some good progress with quartz research and everything, but obviously the star of the show is the super cool dune buggy. So thank you guys for watching this episode. Hope to see you in the next one.